it's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your very own NFT like some of the examples on screen. I've done a video like this before on the pixel art versions of these NFTs and if you want to check that out I'll have that link down in the description but today's video is going to be more focused on these more detailed artworks. We are going to be using the program Photoshop so if you don't have Photoshop I'll have a link down in the description for a free trial to Photoshop and there's other ways of getting Photoshop for free which I will not show you how because I do not want to get sued. Photoshop is a fantastic editing software and I highly recommend using it when creating your NFTs. I'd actually recommend more Illustrator but that program can be confusing and I try and keep all my videos easy for beginners to use so that's why we're going to be using Photoshop because it's a lot more user friendly. Before we do get into anything though, if you guys could go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel, it would mean a ton as we're trying to hit our main goal of 100,000 subscribers. So if you like NFT related videos, make sure you hit that sub button. With that being said, let's get right into the video. So I've created a few NFT collections in my time and I always have the same process and this process works so well. It keeps me organized and on track and isn't time consuming at all. So the first thing I do is just have a simple brainstorm session and I think about my project. You probably already know what you want to do so we won't go over that. Today we're going to be creating sauce bottles since my name is sauce. I figured it would be appropriate. So once I had my my sauce bottle idea I kind of looked up online if there's any other sauce bottle nfts out on the market and there's actually no sauce bottle collection so we're gonna be the first sauce bottle nft out there which is pretty cool and I will mention that I'm gonna put these up for about like 0.003 ETH so about like 15 bucks as of this video so if you want to cop one of them I'll have that link down in the description it really helps me out so I like looking on Google images to find some inspiration Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of cartoon sauce bottles, but I did find some stuff and I like to put pen to paper and just kind of jot out some of my ideas on paper. Obviously, it's going to be complete garbage. I'm not expecting anyone watching this video to be a detailed artist, but you just want a rough idea of what your NFT is going to look like. Once you have your rough idea, I highly suggest researching other NFT related projects and they don't even have to be related to your idea. So it doesn't have to be a sauce bottle. What I'll be using is NFT calendar. Calendar. They actually sponsored one of my videos a few videos back. They're not even sponsoring this one. I just generally like their website and they always have a ton of different collections where you can see the artwork and this is fantastic for getting ideas and understanding how NFT art is created. So one of the biggest things is that most collections aren't even head on. They're almost on a diagonal which is going to be key when I create this sauce bottle. Now, obviously it can be head on. There is some good examples of collections being head on like this crypto mafia collection, but for the most part, they are on the side like this baby ghost or the chimp club. But yeah, highly suggest going through this website or there's a ton of other ones on the internet and getting your ideas. Another key thing to take away from each one of these collections is that there is always a base. As you can see with this angry worms one there is the base of the worm that never changes and it's just the traits the characteristics that change on the worm but the base shell of it never changes and this is fluent with literally every single nft collection so that's what we're going to keep in mind when we create this base another thing to note is shadows and highlights some of these collections don't use them. For example, this Starboys NFT one doesn't use any shadows or highlights. However, other collections like this Hedgy Hog one uses shadows and highlights to create more of a 3D effect. I think they look a lot better. As you can see in the Angry Worms, there is some dark shadows right here and then highlights right here. I think it makes the NFT look 10 times better, but it's also more complicated and harder to do. I'll show you guys examples in this tutorial so you guys get the idea. Alrighty, so once you open up Photoshop, you just want to make your document size 1000 by 1000. This is the default size for all NFT collections, obviously, because you want it to be square. And you can also set your resolution to 300. So you just want to hit create and it will bring up a page where everything is completely blank. The next thing I like to do is add rulers. 
So you can actually do this by going to view and then selecting rulers and then these rulers at the top and the left side will pop up and then you just want to drag and click and it will auto set it into the middle you'll feel it snap in place and it'll set to the middle so you just want to do that to both sides so you get a perfect ruler square and you know where the center is so bam you are now set up to make a nft and the things i'm going to be going over this tutorial and the creation process is how to make the backgrounds how to use the pen tool it's not going to be an in-depth tutorial on the pen tool since there's so many tutorials on youtube but i'll show the basics of how i made my nft which i'll show right now so as you can see this is the little guy that i made and i've been working on and i'll actually kind of show them out if you want to pick one of them up i've made a whole collection called the sauce kingdom and there's only about a hundred of them out and i'm gonna sell them for relatively cheap so if you want to help support me i'll probably put them up for about like 25 dollars not an expensive nft but it does help support me a ton and it would be really appreciated if you picked one of these little guys up but with that being said let's get started into recreating this guy or showing you guys the steps that i took to make this guy so back to the plain canvas what i I start with always is backgrounds they're so easy to do in nfts and majority of nft backgrounds are simple gradients like the examples i have on screen now there is some examples of really detailed backgrounds like for example this christmas one i made but they are far and few between and i honestly don't think they're effective because you want the focal point of your nft to be the nft itself not the background so although the backgrounds are cool and such I highly recommend sticking with a gradient background and it's so easy to make a gradient background what you want to do is hit new layer at the bottom then go to the gradient tool once you're on the gradient tool you just want to select the radial option and then what you want to do is select any color on the color picker we're going to go with a nice little greeny color right here and then the secondary color will also go with a green -y color but we'll do it darker so it's like this and bam those are our two colors next thing you want to do is hit shift on your keyboard drag up from the center and bam you have yourselves a beautiful little gradient keep on doing this with at least like five to ten other colors you get a plethora of different backgrounds and bam your backgrounds are done the next thing you want to do is create the base of your nft this is going to be the most important part when you create your nft the base is what reels people in it's the consistency with the nft the base always stays the same and that's why you need a very fantastic base without a good base your nft will be a failure so i highly suggest you work on the base the most and spend the most time making sure it's perfect so how did i make this base right here well i did it with the pen tool and if you don't know how to use the pen tool i highly suggest looking up a tutorial this is not a tutorial for you but i will go in basic as to how i use the pen tool to create this so what i did is i got a real sauce bottle online and i traced it out with the pen tool so this is not the sauce bottle that i used but we'll just use it for this example so what i did is i just traced it out so you just want to trace out out the bottle or whatever your reference photo is and honestly you don't even need a reference photo I just like using one because I'm not the greatest artist out there for most of my reference photos I usually just draw something on a piece of paper and then try copying it to the best of my ability but as you guys can see I'm just using the pen tool if you don't know how to use the pen tool I highly suggest watching that tutorial once again because it is going to help you out a ton and it is key when creating nfts to know how to use a pen tool so this is my absolute abomination of a recreation of the sauce bottle we're going to change the color of it by selecting the fill at the top and going to yellow and then adding a stroke by selecting that and hitting black and then setting that to 10 points then you can delete that background and bam we have our base right here as you can see we have the yellow with the black outline every single nft has a black outline it makes things stand out and pop so that's very key 
The next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is how I made these shadows that you can see right here in my base. Look at this dark shadow. It looks really clean, look, looks really nice, makes the NFT pop more, and it's honestly so easy to do. So what you want to do is take your base that you have and you just duplicate it. Then you want to select you on your keyboard and with the top layer selected, you want to take the stroke off and then go to the bottom layer and you want to make the fill a darker version of the original color. So we'll make it yellow, but slightly darker. Alrighty, perfect. Next thing you want to do is go back onto the top and drag it in. So now it has that shadowed effect. But as you can see, it doesn't look very good right now because it is going off of the black outline. It just it just doesn't look good, but you can fix it easily. First thing you want to do, hit the right click and go to create clipping mask, clip the mask onto the file under and it already looks better, but it's not perfect. Next thing you want to do is zoom in a bit so you can get more detailed and then select P on your keyboard then right click on the blue line, add anchor point. And here you can change around all of the points on your design. And what you wanna do is kind of make it cut off. So as you can see, it cuts off, it looks really clean. That's how you make a shadow. We are going to be doing the exact same thing. And bam, that is how you make shadows. I honestly wouldn't make them this obvious. I'd probably change the coloring of this to make it a bit lighter because you don't want the shadows to be so overbearing that it just looks like a new color. But yeah, I think that that looks a lot better. Yeah, it's not as it's not as uh, dark, so the range isn't as crazy. But shadows go a long way, and I highly suggest using them in your artwork. So that's basically how I made the base sauce bottle in my design. And obviously, I added some more lines using the pen tool. But you get the gist idea. Now that you have your base, the last thing you want to do is add your features like the eyes, the mouth, the hats, and the random accessories and names and whatnot. So that is all using the pen tool the same way you do the base tool. Now we'll go over the mouth and honestly, there's so many different ways to create mouths and whatnot. So we'll just like, we'll just make a new one for the sake of this tutorial. So you guys can see how my design process works when I'm creating these artworks so i set my stroke to 10 points get rid of the fill then i start with a circle shape and kind of just put it in a mouth form then i'll add a fill i'm gonna use like a lighter red color to symbolize the mouth however this looks kind of silly it looks pretty fake so what i want to do is change it up a bit so we're going to hit p on the keyboard add anchor point scroll in and let's change this around so the thing i love with nfts is you can make your designs however you want you can be as creative as you want there's no conformed way to make an nft that's one of the main reasons i just love creating so we have our mouth that's how easy it is to make a mouth but we're not done yet let's say we want to add some teeth we're gonna go with some some jagged teeth i don't know i don't know how this is gonna look but we'll see so we'll make those white because teeth are white hopefully and then you just want to do clipping mask so that it looks like it's going from under. And then we'll add another one of those triangles, give them two fangs so he looks like some type of vampire. And bam, I mean, it's not the greatest mouth of all time, but it's looking good. Next thing you want to do is add these shadows like I was talking to you about. The shadows make things look good. So what you want to do is the same process as before. Duplicate that mouth. Go to the bottom layer. Hit U. And then make the fill a darker version 
of the backing. So we're going to make this dark red, take the stroke off as well, and then drag it out or hit the key arrows and drag it out a bit. So it gives it this nice little shadow display then you can zoom out and bam that looks fantastic another thing i like doing with some of the features is adding like these extra line details just to make things pop a bit more it doesn't work with every single mouth form or eye form so i wouldn't recommend it doing it all the time but what you can do is just hit the pen tool create a nice little line outline like this take that stroke off and see if it complements the mouth i don't really know if it does mm, i guess i don't know let me know if this looks good i don't really know if it does but it's always something you can try out like i said this is your nft collection and you can choose whatever you feel looks best so yeah i pretty much use this identical process for creating all of the other assets like you see on screen and i like keeping everything in order using folders this is extremely important make sure you have your stuff ordered or else you will be so confused trying to find where everything is organize your stuff it is literally the number one tip i can give you the last thing we're going to do is show you how i made this shadow shadows are very important on feet if you have a character with feet and it's standing up or if you want to make a floating effect like mine and they're so simple to do so to create this shadow, what you want to do is select a new layer, go to the brush tool right here and select black. Next thing you want to do is right click on the screen and change your hardness to zero, change the size to about a thousand and change this direction angle to a more flatter surface. Next thing you want to do is click down on screen, maybe click twice. It gives you this nice little black shadow. And then go to your opacity drag it down a bit and bam that's how you get that floating shadow you can also do this under people's feet to give it a nice foot shadow as well so guys that is the tutorial on how i made my sauce kingdom sauce bottle i hope you guys did enjoy it if you did make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel and i know i said at the beginning of the video if you stuck around i'd be giving away something and i'm actually going to be giving away one of these sauce bottles so if you want to win that comment down below literally anything and i'll be picking one of you guys in a couple weeks to be the winner and i'll ask for your information so i can send you this nft that's gonna do it for me though guys i hope you have a great rest of your day subscribe to the channel since i literally had to remake this video twice because i forgot to record the first time but yeah guys peace see you later Thank you.